Hello everyone, it's Helen here and thank you for joining me today. Now today I have a scrapbook page to share with you. Now this particular one is in Simply Put Cards and Paper Craft issue 161 which is out today. That's the 23rd of March and um, I'm releasing this video in association with some other videos that will be, be released today on some other scrapbook layouts that will be in the same magazine. Now this particular one is called Green Eyes and it's of my old cat Dusty. Unfortunately he's no longer with us, he died a couple of years ago um, so I'm just catching up on my scrapbooking with him in particular um, obviously I really do miss him so it is helping uh, doing the scrapbook pages so this one here I have used project life cards with here um, and also I've used some thickers here I'm going to grab all the materials out that I've used and for this particular video I'm going to show you how I made these flowers here so I've used um, Stampin' Up's aqua pens to make those and I, and I took a stencil from the Project Life kit. So let me just move this aside and I'll just grab the stuff that I've used. Okay, so I have the Hello Lovely collection here, the accessory pack. Okay, these are the actual colours I used. I've used Watermelon Wonder, Pear Pizzazz and Night of Navy. And if you're wondering why I've added a bit of blue, I'll show you that in a moment. There's a hint of blue in the photograph, so I wanted to reflect that in the green. To make the flowers I've used some watercolour paper, some of the lettering, I've used the label at Alphabet. Okay, and here I have some thickers. Now this one is called Shoebox. Now, I've got these ones from Hobbycraft. And it's a lovely, lovely black glitter. Okay, so those are the accessory packs and everything that I've used clear all this again so if you actually wanted a closer look at this card set I do have another video and I'll put the link down below so you can have a look so I'm just going to quickly show you the accessory pack first um, what I actually use I use this uh, washi tape and I use this stencil here okay, there's absolutely loads in here there's also some um, letter stickers as well and some overlays some golds and blacks as well but yeah the video will be down below and obviously this is this is the um, full size card pack. Now I've used two cards similar to this one, but they had the um, the green dots on. So I've absolutely got loads here. This will keep me going for a long time. Okay, so you get the four by six, four by four, and the three by four, and they're all double sided as well. So um, you don't have to keep these four pockets scrapbooking. Okay, so let me get on to um, explaining the blue. Let's grab the layout again. As you can see, there is a lot of green in here. There's also some blue here at the back. And I wanted to reflect that in here somewhere, just so that it helps um, coordinate the whole page and it brings it all together. So as you can see, I can bring it up. I have used some blue in with the green just to darken it and create some tone and depth. So I think that really does reflect well with the whole page. Okay, so let's get started on the stenciling. So we're going to be starting off with watercolour paper. Now I've, I've trimmed this down and I'm just going to grab my stencil. Now this one is from the accessory pack, it doesn't come in the main kit. It's always worth, if you buy the kit, to get the accessory pack as well because they are made to coordinate together. Okay, so I'm just going to take a pencil. Just going to quickly trace around here. Painter out. I've put it aside. Oh, here it is. Okay, so what we do is you squeeze the pad slightly together just to get the ink onto the lid. Don't press too hard, you might just crack your case. 
Okay, so now I have a big splodge there. Okay, these are stamping up aqua painters. You get two. This one's the thinner one. I'll show you the other one. It's a larger brush there. I'm going to use a smaller one today. So I'm going to start with the petal. some darker colour here and just add that. So those are the petals done. I'm just going to grab some kitchen towel. I'm just going to squeeze the barrel just to get all the colour out of the nib. There we go, that's running clear pretty much. Okay, so we're moving on to our next two colours now. Okay, so we have pizzazz here. I did try old olive but I thought that was a bit a bit dark. Okay so as you can see I've already had a go and not cleaned it but that's all right. Okay so I'm going to start off with the green first. So I'm going to fill the leaf in with the green. Don't worry about the pencil lines. Once this is all dry I'm going to rub them out with a pencil eraser. Okay, so now that we've got our uh, green, I'm just going to pick up a little bit of the blue and just, just add it. And that just gives it a, a hint of depth and shade there. And that's what is going to pick up on the, um, the blue in the photograph. So it all coordinates and just looks pleasing to the eye. Okay, so now I'm just going to colour in all the other leaves. Just adding a little hint of blue to each one after I've added the, the green. And this is so easy to do, anyone can do it. So I think so it looks really, really effective and pretty. Don't worry if you go over the lines as well because we'll be rubbing those out so you won't be able to tell. Just give it a more it just gives it a more organic feel. Okay, so there we go. I'm just gonna leave that to dry and I'll be back in one moment. Okay, so that's more or less dry now. It's dry to the touch. My rubber.
I hadn't let that dry properly there. You may want to give it an extra 5-10 minutes. That's fine, it's just an example, so I'm not too worried about that. Grab my scissors now. So what I did next was I just trimmed the whole lot out. Be doing a lot of cutting out make sure you have some good scissors these are these are stamping up ones and these are the best ones i found um i used to really dislike uh fussy cutting but actually now i quite enjoy it so these are really sharp and they make it easy work for for cutting out i mean this is this is this is quite a thick paper so, and, it, and it cuts through it like butter. So definitely make sure you have a good pair of scissors if you're going to be doing fussy cutting, otherwise you're just going to get really frustrated. Okay, so what I'm actually doing is I'm moving the paper around. I'm not really moving my scissors very much, so I'm just keeping my hand in this position while I move the manoeuvre the paper around. Get some really good rounded corners that way. one out. I may be able to salvage this one. There. there we go, and always remember tidy up as you go. Okay, so there's my flower. I'll bring back the layout. Here we go. So I've used one, two, three, four and a half. I've used uh, two. So I've had three, so I had half left over. So basically I've trimmed them along here. So I'll do that now. Just trim them across like so. And I've just layered them across the bottom. So I've made three of these and then trimmed them in half. And then I did a few extra where... I just did the leaves, so I have one left over here. So I just added the leaves, just as extras here, and then a couple up here as well. Okay, so if you're wondering about the actual layout and and how I put it all together, I decided I wanted it in um, a long column going from top to bottom, so everything is pretty much central. If, if you can imagine a central line, gone down like that and then I have a, a bit going out to the side as well and I've done some layers here okay so um what I'm going to be doing is I will be making another one of these um I'm thinking about making another one for myself because this one's being sent to the magazine um so I won't be getting this one back but um I can be making and I will be making another one and I'm going to actually 
frame it in a big 12 by 12 um, frame. So if you want me to make another process video on how I put this together, please let me know and I'll make sure that I video that for you. Um, and I'll be just, it'll be exactly the same. Um, it, and it's, this is actually quite a very simple layout. There's only a few layers and it's not overly complicated. So um, yeah, give me a thumbs up if you like this one. Let me know in the comments below if you want, if you want a process video and I'll see you next time.